Good afternoon from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Friday, November 27. I just finished working off my turkey dinner by deconstructing the starboard side of the bottom. And here's the evidence. We've got everything numbered and ordered in sequence. The inner planking is, uh, as I suspected, is just not much good. It's very brittle. Uh, there is a fair amount of, of sort of early stage rot, some softwood uh, on the ends that uh, hit, that landed on right next to the keel. The uh, outer planking, by contrast, uh, makes me suspicious that it's not the original planking because it's really in excellent shape. We'll be able to use every board. Uh, there was one plank running along the chine that uh, terminated at the transom uh, that had been patched with two short pieces. Uh, whoever did that committed the mortal sin of, of wood boat restoration. You don't ever, ever, ever put in a short board patch let alone two of them side by side. Why didn't that person release both boards and release the short plank that was behind it, terminating on the transom, cut a single plank, put it in. This boat's got a hemi in the bilge. It needs every bit of strength it can to keep the, the hull together when somebody drops a hammer on the hemi. So. I'm very pleased, however, to discover that every single rib is as hard as stone. The back bow may well have been replaced. There's no way to tell, but it also is as hard as stone. Nothing is deformed. I did scrape off a little bit of grease back here where the engine is, but the chine is just, as you can see, the chine could not be better. We did find one broken rib right here. Uh, our guess is she had been assaulted by an ill-fitting trailer that uh, hit a bump because the crack is clear, clearly the result of a blow from the outside of the hull. But. That's an easy piece to fabricate. The, the stem, as you can see, is really in good shape. We have a little bit of work to do right here. Uh, the, the plank that's right up against the keel right here was similarly gouged. And we'll be able to save the plank, but we're going to have to do some work here. I, my guess is that we will, we will release these carriage bolts that run through the keel and scarf in a short section of keel right here to uh, bring this back to the proper profile. But other than that, it really is good news. And now, guess what I am allowed to start tomorrow? Stripping the port side and then stripping off all of the, the planking they're on as well. So thank you very much. Goodbye from Snake Mountain Boatworks.